step into the enchanting world of The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, a timeless TV series that weaves a captivating tale of the unexpected. Have you ever found yourself captivated by a scene or moment from the show that lingers in your memory? Perhaps there's a personal story of inspiration drawn from the series that has left an indelible mark on your life. As we explore the intriguing facets of this classic television gem, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to the series in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the collective appreciation of this enduring classic. We would love to hear how the ghost in Mrs. Muir has touched your life. Now, let's uncover some random facts about the show. Did you know that the series, born from the 1945 novel and subsequent film, seamlessly blends elements of romance and the supernatural? The narrative unfolds with the widow Carolyn Muir's move to Gull Cottage, where her life takes an unexpected turn as she encounters the ghostly Captain Daniel Gregg. The dynamic between the spirited Mrs. Muir and the charmingly irascible Captain creates a unique and heartwarming story that resonates across generations. Have you ever wondered about the behind-the-scenes details that brought this series to life? Dive into the comments section and share your thoughts, as well as your favorite moments from the ghost and Mrs. Muir. Your insights contribute to the rich tapestry of appreciation for this television classic. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series? Share your stories, and let's celebrate the magic of the ghost and Mrs. Muir together. In the TV series, Captain Greg, a character central to the ghost and Mrs. Muir, underwent an interesting transition. Rex Harrison originally portrayed him in the film version. Interestingly, before donning the captain's persona, Edward Mulhair took over Harrison's role in the Broadway cast of My Fair Lady. This behind-the-scenes shuffle adds a layer of trivia to the show's history. Moving continents, Balaji Telefilms in India tried their hand at a remake titled Captain House for DD Metro in 2000. However, reports suggest they ventured into this without proper authorization, adding a twist of unauthorized adaptation to the show's legacy. When ABC picked up the series for its second season after NBC's initial cancellation, a significant shift occurred in the dynamics between the titular characters. The original romantic and yearning atmosphere was replaced by an adversarial comic banter. This change brought about a new dynamic, often resulting in a battle of the sexes competition between them. In summary, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir boasts a diverse history, from Broadway cast swaps to international remakes, and a notable shift in character dynamics. These factors contribute to the show's unique journey through the world of television. Gull Cottage, the iconic residence in the 1968 TV series, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, is not your typical coastal retreat. Contrary to the on-screen illusion, it's situated inland in Santa Barbara, cleverly edited to appear as if it overlooks the ocean. Premiering on NBC's Saturday Night lineup at 8.30 p.m. EST, the show faced an initial setback with NBC canceling it after the first season. However, ABC stepped in for the second and final season, marking a shift in the series' fate. The house itself, named Gull Cottage, became a central setting where Mrs. Muir navigated life with her children. This unique blend of location deception and network reshuffling adds intriguing layers to the narrative of the ghost and Mrs. Muir, showcasing the behind-the-scenes intricacies that shaped its television journey. Hope Lange's stellar performance in The Ghost and Mrs. Muir earned her the Emmy for Best Actress in both seasons. Her portrayal of the resilient Mrs. Muir left a lasting impact, securing recognition for her outstanding contributions to the show. Lange's dual Emmy wins reflect the series' strong character development and the audience's appreciation for her nuanced portrayal. Additionally, the character dynamics remained consistent with the film version, preserving the captain's name as Daniel Gregg. However, an interesting shift occurred in Mrs. Moore's first name, transitioning from Lucy in the film to Carolyn in the TV series. This alteration, though subtle, adds a layer of intrigue to the adaptation process. Beyond the on-screen nuances, the show's visual elements also evolved. Notably, the opening title cards underwent a transformation between seasons. In season one, the word ghost stood out with hollow letters, while in season two, it adopted a wavy Halloween-type font. This shift in the title card design reflects the series' attention to detail 
and its willingness to experiment with visual elements. In summary, Hope Lange's Emmy wins, and the careful preservation of character names underscore the show's commitment to quality storytelling. The visual evolution of the title cards further showcases the ghost, and Mrs. Muir's dedication to keeping things fresh and engaging for its audience, making it a memorable piece of television history. The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, a classic TV series from the late 60 seconds, holds a unique position in the realm of sitcoms. Despite its brief run, spanning only two seasons, it stands out as one of the rare shows in syndication with such a concise lifespan. The brevity of its original run adds an intriguing layer to its legacy, distinguishing it from the more extended sitcoms of its time. Set in the fictional New England town of Schooner Bay, the show skillfully weaves a narrative that captures the essence of the region. While the state is briefly mentioned in passing by housekeeper Martha, portrayed by Rita Shaw, the focus remains on the charming dynamics within the town. Interestingly, Shaw, a native of Maine herself, brings a touch of authenticity to her portrayal, adding a subtle connection to the show's setting. Amidst the quaint charm of Schooner Bay, the family dog, affectionately named Scruffy, becomes a noteworthy character in its own right. A subtle yet endearing element, Scruffy contributes to the warmth of Gull Cottage, where the central characters navigate the challenges of life. This canine companion adds a touch of relatability to the series, resonating with viewers in a simple yet effective manner. In essence, the ghost in Mrs. Muir, with its concise yet impactful run, its authentic portrayal of a New England town, and the charming presence of Scruffy stands as a testament to the show's ability to leave a lasting impression despite its brevity. Season 2 episodes of The Ghost in Mrs. Muir run about a minute longer than those in the first season. This subtle shift in episode duration adds a nuance to the viewing experience, providing a bit more content for fans to enjoy. Despite its brief run, the series has become a syndication favorite, leaving modern viewers questioning the reasons behind its cancellation after only two seasons. In fact, the show faced cancellation twice, once after each season. The initial setback came from NBC, which programmed it to follow Get Smart during its first season. Unfortunately, it struggled against strong competitors on CBS and ABC, leading to its cancellation. The surprising win of an Emmy for Hope Lange prompted ABC to give it a second chance, but the Thursday and Friday time slots proved equally challenging, resulting in the show's ultimate cancellation after the second season. A curious aspect of the series lies in the portrait of Captain Greg, a character central to the show. The same portrait used in the 1947 movie was repurposed, with Edward Mulhair's face painted over Rex Harrison's. This visual continuity adds an interesting layer to the adaptation process, maintaining a connection to the film while introducing a new actor to the role. These subtle details in episode length, the tumultuous journey through different time slots, and the intriguing adaptation of Captain Gregg's portrait contribute to the unique legacy of the ghost. And Mrs. Muir, a classic television series from the late 60 seconds. As we bid adieu to the tales of the ethereal, and the earthly, the wistful whispers of the ghost and Mrs. Muir linger in the corridors of memory. A timeless dance between realms, this cherished series weaves a delicate tapestry of connection a bridge between the tangible and the transcendent. In the quiet moments between flickering scenes, have you found yourself caught in the gentle embrace of nostalgia, tracing the footsteps of a bygone era? The characters, like old friends, invite us to traverse the contours of our own pasts, summoning reflections on love, loss, and the enigmatic journey of time. So, dear connoisseur of spectral sagas, what whispers of the series have etched themselves upon the canvas of your recollections? Was it the spectral allure of Captain Greg, the guardian of secrets and spectral wisdom? Or perhaps the indomitable spirit of Mrs. Muir, navigating the tumultuous waters of both love and the afterlife? As the curtains fall on each episode, the narrative transcends the screen, intertwining with the fabric of your own narrative. Share with us the fragments of your musings, the echoes of laughter, and poignant pauses that resonate with the spectral serenade of this unforgettable series. Your tales are the threads that stitch together the ethereal and the earthly, creating a tapestry of shared remembrances that transcend time and space. Let the comments below be a realm where the past converges with the present, where the ordinary and the extraordinary coalesce in the collective memory of the ghost and Mrs. Muir enthusiasts. 
Thank you for allowing the echoes of this timeless saga to resonate within your thoughts, and for sharing the specter of your own reflections. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia, happy haunting, and may your memories be as enduring as the whispers of the wind.